Ooh, what is up you guys? And of course, as always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle. Now, before we go into game, I really just want to have a small update about uh, upcoming Wi-Fi battles uh, before Ultra Sunny Moon is coming out. I really want to have this said straight out of the way. Uh, they might not be as plenty, and quite frankly, I might not actually upload all of them. It has a lot to do with that since the game is coming out so soon, it feels redundant to kind of um, kind of force myself to make certain uploads when I know I won't be showing them anyway. So I just really want to have that said that, you know, I'll do my very best for uploads, but at the same time, I do want you guys to be uh, very with me that you know, I'll, I'll probably be not uploading as uh, frequent as I have to because the game is coming out um, and work is asking a lot of me right now and I have a baby in one month away. She's coming in December. So I really feel that um, I am, I have a bit of a, my hands full and while I love uploading for you guys, it does take a lot of time out of my schedule to actually, you know, have the game, record it, narrate it. It's easily like a two to three hour process. And while it isn't a lot of time, and right now it seems like every minute counts in my everyday schedule. So for what it's worth, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I just want to say that, you know, that, you know, the regular uploads will come. Uh, Wiper Bells might not be as plenty. Uh, so just really want to have be honest with you guys about what's going on in my life and I really really hope that you guys can appreciate it I, I'm, a, I'm a bit honest here um, With that said, let's actually look at the team preview now I built a team here that is kind of anti-meta and it's supposed to because I was really tired of the Mesprit Haunter Hitmonchan and Mil tank. that core is probably one of the best ones to get over the likes of Skunk Tank uh, so uh, my team is a Noctowl, Stunfisk, Defensive Variant, and Noctowl, of course, being Defog Defensive. Uh, Seal Valley Poison, because it deals very well with a few matchup actually due to disputes here. Um, Hone Edge. Hone Edge uses Walls Hitmonchan in so many ways, and a Sword Dance Variant could very well with Shadow Claw, uh, KO, Mesprit with little to no doubt. Uh, Shinotic, Walls, no, a plethora of sets really very good defensively, and Strings have really just kind of wall stuff too uh, and then my last pokemon is grumpig which is not an anti-matter pokemon it's just because i really want to use it it's a sea splash very physical and it's a very cool mon i really like that one it might not be as viable but at the same time i just really didn't want to push another misprint there also because i felt like yeah it would solve the worst but then it goes away from the concept i am building for now we're gonna give this matthew and the salamans tv and his team is exactly what i wanted that is we see a Misprit, we see a Haunter, we see Hitmonchan and Meltang, then had two Philemons in Armaldo and Ludicolo. And while Ludicolo and Armaldo is not necessarily the scariest Pokemon, or, or clearly Ludicolo can be extremely dangerous, but quite frankly, the matchup itself looks to be in my favor to some extent because his offensive Pokemon I can check fairly alright, even counter them to some extent. It definitely should be said here about the Hone Edge. Honed deals very well with Mesprit Haunter and Hitmonchan. While Haunter could definitely with Shadow Ball KO Honed, it should be said that Shadow Sneak, if you're adamant max, or I mean brave max attack, you will always Oko with Shadow Sneak. So Haunter is necessarily not a threat unless you switch into Shadow Ball. So anyway, with all this said, I'm gonna leave with my Noctile basically to avoid any kind of stealth fraction again. So with that said, let's go into the match. So from the get-go here, he's going to lead off with his Mesprit. Now, due to me being, of course, especially defensive, Ice Beam would be probably the most hard in the move, and at the same time would not do over 50%. Luckily for me, he goes for a U-turn, as you guys will see. Doesn't necessarily do too much damage here, and I think I actually went for a Toxic here, when we actually caught the Armaldo in the switch in. Now, Armaldo, yeah, we're getting out. We're, we're not going to take that Stone Edge. I, I believe that's a clear indication of a pure danger. And uh, I really want to save my Hector for later. Because it's just a special defensive monster and can definitely check a lot of color to some extent. So with that in mind, of course, I'm going to switch out. I'm going to switch out to the Boudet, the Stunfisk. And yeah, Stunfisk is probably one of those really, really niche mods, but this one is a Rocky Helmet variant, basically able to uh, punish anything that attacks it. Now, my opponent here is going to go for Heal Bell. I felt that's quite all right. Uh, at this time, I can get my free rocks up. I don't have to worry about it. Armaldo is his possible spinner. And I can just spam Earth Power and just special defensively um, will him down, so it's about a 20% chance of lowering his special defense. Now, he will actually showcase the set I was using in my older video, which is a very cool set that is based on the curse, basically, but he's not um, White Herb. 
which I felt was really, really tough, because this means that this is probably a more bulkier variant of a mill tank, and uh, we do not want to deal with that necessarily. Um, one thing that definitely should be said here is that I definitely went over and over again for her power. While it did showcase the likes of uh, uh, Heal Bell, I felt that Toxic still does a resilient amount of damage. Actually, it's Lucille afterwards. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, we don't see White for Rustated. So I keep on spamming that Earth power. Now, he'll go for Hill Belt. You know, we, we are in a stalemate here. Uh, the thing to really reconsider is it doesn't matter how much he decides to bulk up or curse. Uh, eventually, he's going to attack me and a Rocky Helmet will punish him dearly. And uh, one thing that really stands out here is while I go for Earth power over and over and over again, but I do not get the special defense drop. And that's really, really, really unfortunate of me because I think I am now going for the fifth one and still no special defense drop. What's, what's going on? But yeah, you know, that's... That's the game we play, you know, you, you kind of bank for hacks and you win. When don't happen, you blame the game, right? That's what I do. So anyway, he goes for the body slam. It does roughly, I would say, around 30%. But we get the static because we know that that hacks is important. And uh, we go over to Earth Power. As you guys can see, he pretty much got 50% back at him due to Rocky Helmet. And, of course, the Earth Power. That combination was enough to wheel him down. And... Um, since he got himself paralyzed, he's also slower than me, which is really good because this means that we'll just keep on spamming that earth power. Uh, we have no reason not to, and even though Miltran will put him over, as stated before, he's really not gaining any momentum from the stun fist. He needs to defeat it. That is his only way. And if finally we get that special defense drop, I think that's seventh variant here actually did connect that's fantastic as it go for a body slam he do score an unnecessary crit there or you know it's it wouldn't necessarily mean that you know i could possibly take another body slam who knows but anyway we are in a good spot here where i can just go for a discharge instead in case i want to save it unluckily for me i don't kill him but luckily for me Hax finds a way and comes back. Not only did we get the static, we got eventually Earth Power, Special Defense Drop, and a fully paralyzation. So Stun Fisk doing what it does best, which is pretty much nothing, and just residual damage. Stun Fisk is such an amazing mod in its own way. So anyway, his switching here, here is Hiriyama. Hiriyama against me are, of course, going to kill, but I'm going to preserve Stun Fisk for Death Father because of Rocky Helmet, and switch in my Ether, which is my Honage. Now, usually, if it carries Earthquake, that would be his only attack move that would hurt me, but he's actually optimized for switching out, as I think I went directly for a Gyro Ball. And while, you know, Armaldo is a slow mon, it is still super effective damage, and as you guys can see, it did quite a lot. But here, I don't want to necessarily take a knockoff here, so I'm going to switch into Cumberdale. And he goes for a knockoff, as you guys will see, that won't do necessarily too much towards us, and we get the effects pro because, you know, that's the game we play. You know, we had banging frags for such a long time, and eventually it comes through and does what it does best, which is pretty much nothing, as um, I go for the cricket rain. It's actually not enough, which I found was very surprised. I really thought it would KO here, but Armaldo has some hidden, hidden bulk behind it, as I go for the strength sap here, basically felt that you have an opportunity to kind of whittle it down and possibly uh, switch into something better for a future matchup. And the future matchup that I'm aiming for is actually the Grumpig. I really want that safely switch in, but I felt that I better possibly actually sack just my Boudet, my Stunfisk. So we're a stall mate, basically. The thing is here, I really couldn't attack him head on. Um, so eventually, there, uh, oh yeah, I decided to sack it because I didn't know whether or not he's going to wake up and it felt like a big risk when the Rocky Helmet could just take him out anyway. So that said, now comes the Grand Pig. Now, Mokaloka is, of course, the, <laughs> the Lodi Colo. I feel like, shit, you know, we, we, we can, can maybe take a few hits from this guy. I have no idea. As I'll go just go for that C splash. At least we do see here that we actually are outspeeding, which I felt was the most important part. Because I didn't necessarily know what he wanted to go for. I uh, really thought I was going to go for range as here. It actually goes for Giga Drain. Giga Drain does alright, I guess. The Grumpy really showing that it's naturally especially defensive. And has the ball to pull something like that off. And we just can go for head on for the send headbutt. And it does 50-ish damage. But we are of course going to see the Lodocolo sharpening its, its eyes. It's an angry, angry, angry cack. Cack turn duck, yeah? And it goes with a Hydro Vortex, which will actually do a hefty amount of damage, but it won't be enough to KO. 
and unfortunately for my opponent, Sin Headbutt's secondary hit here will just wrap up and KO the Mocha Loco. So yeah, he wasn't a threat. Found it very surprising that it wasn't a threat. Uh, his switching now is a mess Um I'm just gonna sack Grumping at this point. I just want to see the damage output. An Ice Punch, yeah. A plus three, that doesn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he goes to save you to Uh Now his remaining mons here is the Haunter, Hitmonchan, and Mesprit. Uh, so I felt that since I switched in his Satima, his Hitmonchan, that I had a golden opportunity to bring my Garuga, which is my Poison Silver Valley, and just go for the safe sword stance. I should naturally outspeed unless he's Scarf, which is not. And his only attacking move shouldn't be able to KO me, as he goes for Rapid Spin, which probably means that his Haunter is... Uh, possibly focus sashed and just go for flame shard basically at this point i just wanted to uh, be able to outspeed in case something weird was scarred basically misprit to this point as we're just gonna wrap up with the multi-attack versus the hitmonchan and yeah i mean his rainy mons now is misprit and the haunter uh he's gonna bring in the grandma the haunter and i think i actually went directly for a flame charge again basically i'm already guessing this thing is scarred and i really wanted to see my damage output as he goes for Shadow Ball, and no, that is that is not enough to KO, and we're going to wrap that up with a multi-attack again, make that resisted hit count, and the grandma falls. That, that sounds weird. Uh, anyway, so his last one here is, of course, the Mary Smith, which is the mess spread, and we do pack that pesky, pesky, pesky crunch, and that will be GG to, of course, Matthew. And yeah, really cool game, and I'm very glad that I got to showcase... Um, this anti-team versus the current meta right now so yeah um really cool game from matthew and you know quite honestly i only win because i have those defensive checks like in in place they're definitely hone edge and stun fisk uh they provide the defensive checking that kind of slow the pace down in the game so to some extent i feel that this upload is uh, to some extent boring but i really want to showcase the idea of it and your silver poison you know out of nowhere really just got to set up and that was a wrap basically uh, now against the game itself, I level said Matthew said that he was really new to the PU meta and definitely to uh, just the game itself. Like he's not playing too much of um, Generation Six. I get that. You no, know, he definitely was trying to maneuver with the offensive Pokemon. It didn't go as well as I think he wanted it to, and just you know me bringing weird shit definitely didn't necessarily help. Um, Grumpy, of course, being one of those things that while well, it, it it worked, but it shouldn't have worked. Uh, that that's always a plus. Uh, so guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video, and as I said before, you know, I'll try to upload as many uploads as I can, but at the same time, don't be surprised if I'm not, um, really just understand as well as I can, or I really want to upload, but I barely have the time to upload, so uh, I'll figure something out, and you know, always follow me on Twitter, and the group on Discord if you're on your chat with me, I'll, I'll always say I'm available, it's just a recording part, not necessarily that easily maneuvered you know the who is really better series is definitely going to be every week but everything else might follow behind so anyway guys as always thank you for course watching and uh, yeah i'll see you around until then of course as always take care bye